What up guys? Welcome to another episode of Tuck Talks, where I tuck talk. And in this episode, we are delving into baking challenge of Next Level Chef season two. And so the baking challenge uh, is a dessert round where we have to bake the main component of our dish. And so I don't know if you know this, but I am a mainly a savory chef. I can pull off desserts here and there, but it's certainly not my forte. I definitely didn't go to pastry school. And oh man, I'm in the basement for this round. So Nuri and myself narrowly escaped elimination last week or in the fry challenge. And so we're starting in the basement this week. So when the elevator goes up, I mean, it goes up <laughs> like this much. And so we were like, wow, short elevator ride. <laughs> and so we get out in the basement and both of us are just like, you know, pumping each other up. Like, all right, let's go, let's go. Uh, we got this. And so we're just trying to hype each other up and be like, let's get out of this basement. I mean, it fucking sucks in there. Like the tools are hideous. The ovens don't work. I'm concerned about the ovens for, for, for sure here. Um, especially in a baking challenge, right? So not only is I have not only do I have to make some sort of form of dessert, the ovens don't work. I'm not sure I have tools. Do I even have a scale down there to weigh out my ingredients? Am I even gonna remember a whole pastry recipe off the top of my head? Like these are some of my major concerns I have going into baking in the basement. That's what we're gonna call this episode: baking in the basement. <laughs> so uh, the winner of the last episode was Chef Michelle with her snapper redemption, which was awesome. If you remember, earlier in the season she made snapper, it wasn't her best dish. Last episode in Fry Challenge, she made redemption snapper and won the time token. And so today she uses the time token for herself to get that extra 10 seconds at the platform because she says she's kind of struggled with the platform grabs up until now, so she would love that 10 seconds to just solidify that grab, especially in a challenge where she's not super comfortable. None of us are stoked about this baking challenge, let me just tell you that. So. Um, we get into the challenge here, right? And I'm like, oh man, I think I'm gonna make chocolate cake. All right, how can I screw up a chocolate cake, right? It's cake, it's chocolate, they're gonna love it. i make some pastry cream to go with it. Turns out, <laughs> turns out I make more of a brownie. Um, in the basement, there's no cake pans. I barely even have a sheet tray that's straight. And so um, I get my sheet cake into the oven over here. It looks like it's rising. It looks like it's great. And then um, when I go to take it out of the fridge, um, I notice that it is a brownie in consistency and texture. I don't know how we got here, honestly. Um, it's anybody's guess. I have no idea what I've made today. I don't know how we got here. I just know that it is not a chocolate cake. It's not fluffy. It's not... It's just, it's this dense little, it's a fucking brownie. I've made a next level chef brownie for chef Gordon Ramsay. Damn it. <laughs> I'm so concerned going into this judging round. And when we walk into the great room for judging, everyone's plates look gorgeous. They even call us up, they didn't show this on the show, but they call us up to the table to show us how beautiful the array of desserts are. And my brownie is standing there in all of its quarter inch glory super. So I'm super concerned rolling into judging here. Like super, super concerned. Well, judging takes off. Turns out some of these beautiful desserts didn't have the technicality behind them to make them delicious. So they might've looked pretty, but, but we're lacking something else. So um, my dish was okay in looks and okay in taste. And that was such a surprise. <laughs> Yes, excellent, <laughs> but surprising nonetheless. And so um, who wins this um, Who wins this challenge? Chef Omi, she made banuelos. And so this is traditional like Puerto Rican uh, fried dessert, but she did a, a double uh, banuelos. She did fried and baked and filled it with this beautiful coconutty like custard. It looked amazing, it sounds amazing. And it looks like a literal like dessert off of a cart of a four star restaurant or something like it is beautiful. So she well deserves this time token. Um, good for her. Um, since we are ahead and looking back now doing these tuck talks, right? We're not doing this week of, um, we, can, we know this time token is cursed. So I'm already concerned. So going into the elimination, we have Chef Rini, Chef Nuri, and Chef Michelle. So that time token backfired again. Unfortunately, Michelle's cheesecake was under set. And when she threw it on the platform, because she ran out of time, it kind of exploded a little bit. Um, Nuri's dish was kind of disjointed and Rini's cake needed a little bit of soaking. It was kind of dry from the cornmeal. So unfortunately, these three badasses are going into elimination. 
and the uh, challenge is actually we're finally getting away from dessert so I think everybody was stoked but we roll into eggs benedict challenge which is one of my favorite things to make I actually have um, two different versions of it that I teach classes on so if you need an eggs benedict class you let me know all right it's through truffle shuffle and so um, we're doing eggs benedict and so you know I'm standing there I'm rooting for Michelle here because at the end of the day it's team Ramsey all day every day right got my love for Michelle um, of course I love Nori and Rini as well but I'm obviously the only other team Ramsey member left is Michelle besides myself and so I'm hardcore rooting for Michelle here and so I'm trying to help her she's doing a shrimp benedict with some crispy shrimp in there um, um, Rini is doing like this salmon cake she's got um, this really good looking salmon going over there we've got Nori over here doing some I don't know, he mentions fried green tomatoes, he's got bacon, he's got lobster, so I, there's a lot of things. Everybody's got a ton of things over here. So everyone is super busy, they've got 30 minutes. I'm super stressed because it feels like Eggs Benedict has a lot of components and you need to nail all of them, especially that hollandaise. Hollandaise is super tricky because it's easy to break and hard to hold, all right? So I'm just super concerned for everybody. This is a difficult dish to nail. And so it comes time to pop these dishes up. They're all looking really great. Unfortunately, uh, Michelle's shrimp were a little bit gritty and her sauce was kind of messed up. It kind of broke a little bit. So, unfortunately, Michelle goes home. And that means I am the last team member of Team Ramsey. I am Team Ramsey at this point. So, I'm in a sea of blue and red around me. And my solo little gold apron left here by myself. So, um, I'm officially in panic mode over here. Um, you know, this is crazy to be the solo guy in this competition. And so, yeah, wow, um, this is wild, right? It's getting down to the absolute wire. And um, it, the competition is not easing up. Everybody wants this so bad. Everybody wants this so bad. I mean, none of us like to lose. We're chefs. We all want to win. We all want to be the best. And so it's just coming down to the wire here. And being the last member of Team Ramsey Standing is... Um, it's stressful. <laughs> it's stressful. I don't have a... I don't got a partner in here. I don't got a friendly face, right? So... Um, you know, I was super sad when Michelle left. Um, you, you can see me just bawling back there, and uh, I am just super proud of her. She really cooked her heart out out here. Um, you know, she's a home cook, putting up a fight with all these professional chefs here. So I'm just so proud of Mish and all the love to her and to all of my Team Ramsey. Um, I'm gonna try to take it from here, guys. Um, Team Ramsey all the way to the end, all right? I'm gonna do it for you guys and do it for me, do it for Chef Ramsey, and so, Let's go. Next week, we're doing surf and turf. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for following along my Tuck Talks episode. Make sure you follow my TikTok, my, uh, my Instagram, and follow me here for more YouTube series of Next Level Chef recaps and more foodie business. All right, so I will see you guys around the internet. Thanks.